Let's build some responsive banners in Elementor. They're gonna be really, really simple, but I just wanna get across using REM and Clamp a little bit more, especially with those that aren't familiar or used to it. And there are free tools to help you out as well. Let's just go over here and go and add in a container. We'll just go for a vertical one for now. I'm gonna go over to this particular container and I'm gonna set it to be a full width going all the way across. And I'm also for now just gonna zero out the margin and paddings, okay? Um, I'm then gonna drop into here a heading, a text editor uh, and a button. And that's as basic as it goes really. Now the thing I wanna highlight to you though is if you look at the size of these items over here, they don't change as you go down between the different sizes. They, they stay quite static. And some people might be okay with that. Even though in a lot of tutorials I tend to use pixels here and there, I do use REM as well and if I'm building a website I strongly recommend you use REM. The thing about pixels is that I could go over to this header, go to style and I could say, ah, you know what, let's make this be something like 32 pixels like that. And when we get over to the mobile, maybe this size here will go down to about 20. If you notice the font, it's just gonna, you're gonna get a jump. You see that jump? It just goes boom, big, small, big, small like that. And that is quite off-putting. It's much better to have a responsive feel where it shrinks and grows with the size of the screen. You do wanna cap it though and not have it go too big. Just because you're on like a 49 inch monitor, you don't want your words to be like super, super big, right? Because that'd be crazy. And the same can be said for the text editor and the button. In fact, you could say it about any Thing. I could go over to this button right now, go over to the padding, and I could say give me about, uh, say, uh, 50 like that. But that 50 is going to be there on the mobile as well. What if I want it to kind of shrink in line with the size of the screen? The best way to do that is to use some clamp features like this or formulas. And it's really simple and easy to add to Elementor. I've got a sheet over here and the link will be in the video description that you can go over and use if you wanna start adding in the clamp formulas to your fonts and basically anything else you want. So let's go and rework on this at the moment. Let's go to this heading. Now for the header, we are gonna be working with REM instead of Pixel. Just to help you understand though, at the moment with Elementor and most browsers and some page builders as well, one REM is equal to 16 pixel because that's what the root HTML is or the font size. In Bricks Builder, they've already allowed it to be 62.5% of the 16 pixel. So one REM is equal to 10 pixel. Working with 10 pixel as one REM is actually easier. 2 REM is 20 pixel, 1.5 REM is 15 pixel, where here, because 16 pixels is the HTML size, 1 REM is 16 pixel, 2 REM is 32 pixel. So as long as you can get your head around the mathematics, you're okay. But let's not change it for now. We're going to keep it simple. However, if you did want to change it, copy that code, go over to your website, go and hit the hamburger, go to site settings, go to custom CSS and then paste this in and then change that to be a 10. In fact, we could do that, why not? We could just change the whole thing to be a 10 and then we could then go back over here and then pop a 10 here because now we're saying that is the root HTML size. I'm actually gonna leave it as 16 because I've got a feeling a lot of you won't be doing what I just did there. Anyway, we're gonna say that the font size on the desktop is gonna be a 32 and when you get to the mobile, I want it to be 20. Look how quick and easy I'm doing that. And what it does is it modifies and converts the values to be REM. We're not using pixel, it will convert it for you. But what you now need to define is what is the size or the minimum or maximum threshold whereby these sizes operate. So I'm gonna say the minimum size is 350 and I will explain this. And I'm gonna say the maximum is 1100. So when your screen size is boxed width or whatever is 1,100, okay, the, the font for the header will not go over 32 pixel or 2 REM in this. In fact, no, that's wrong. Let me put that back to 16. It will not be bigger than uh, 2 REM or 32 pixel when you do the conversion at the 1,100. If you are above that, it is still maxed out at 32. But as you shrink down, it will also shrink down and it will go to 20. So by the time you get to 350, it is now 20 pixel. If you have like a really tiny screen and it's now 200 pixel, it will still stay at 20 pixel, okay? So there's like a maximum and a minimum. So inside of that, between 350 and 1100, it can go from 20 to 32. 
So what I do is I copy that formula, go over here, click on my header, go to typography, and rather than adding it in as a pixel or an REM, uh, depending on your page builder, okay, but with Elementor, you click the pencil there, and then I paste in the formula. Now, one rule of thumb, though, you do need to get rid of uh, some of the values at the end there and at the beginning before the word clamp. The only reason why I have H1 font size colon and then a semicolon or curly bracket is if you were going to drop that into your custom CSS. So you're going to hard code it in a way and say, every time a header one is used on our website, always apply this size. I'm just doing it on the fly here. So let's go back over here. Notice that header. Now it won't start shrinking immediately until I hit the 1100 threshold. Now I'm entering that window of opportunity. So as I shrink down, can you now see that text? And it will shrink down to a point and then it will stop because that's the smallest I've said it will go to. So you can see what it's doing there. Do the same to the text editor as well. I'm going to say start at 20, but then go down to 16. Let's copy that. Go to typography, go to the pencil, drop it in, get rid of the curly bracket and the semicolon at the end, go all the way to the beginning and then get rid of everything before the word clamp. That's how simple and easy it is. So if we were to now update, again, you're going to see the same thing on this page where we have our text and as I start to shrink, you can see it gradually going down. Why is this really important? I can technically very carefully just build for the desktop and it will follow it through for the tablet and mobile. The only time when I'm gonna to have to start messing around with the mobile is now when I wanna shift the layout or the order or something like that. But this is how super cool it is. Now let's go and do this button. In fact, I'm gonna take that clamp that we already had over here for the text and I'm just going to say we'll apply the same one to the button, pop the pencil and just drop it in because I've already removed the extra bits at the beginning and end. And then I'm going to go over to my padding that I'd currently set as a 50. Let's change that. We'll go with 10 on the mobile and 15 on the desktop. So just make sure you've removed those values so they're not there. And again, we'll get rid of it for the um, desktop as well. Go back over to my calculator and I'm going to say 15 over there. And then for the mobile, I want it to go to 10. Again, we get that formula. Let's copy it over. I set this to be pencil. And then for each, I'm only going to do it once, to be honest, but you could do it individually. I'm going to paste it in, get rid of the end, get rid of everything before the word clamp. If I just start to move that very slowly, because it did go from 15 to 10, you can see that button, like the padding starts to increase and decrease, and obviously the text inside as well. Now, I'm just going to use the same clamp we got here. It's not the perfect one. I would have gone with a bit bigger, but I just want to show you that if I now take this container and I go to advance, I have no padding or margin applied at all. I could, if I want, go and hit the pencil, make sure it's linked and go and pop that in. That now applies that padding in there. So it's gonna start at 15 and as you shrink down, it goes to 10. Maybe you wanna start at zero and by the time you get to the mobile, you want it to become 20. So I might wanna go with something like this. So for the padding, get to 20, but start at zero. That's okay. Well, maybe you wanna do it the other way around and you wanna start with something bigger and then you get to 20. So you can use responsive fonts like REM and Clamp Calculator to really make your website so much more responsive. But I do want to add one little thing. You can break the rule. In fact, there is no rule. This is all subjective. Go for the methodology that works for you and helps you to earn money and works for you and your clients, okay? I want to say that right now, okay? I like to build like this, but you do not have to follow this way if you don't want. For instance, I've got a clamp going on here. Maybe I've decided that I don't care how big the screen size is. There will always be 20 pixel on the left and the right. I don't care how big your screen is. I don't, I don't care. That is set in stone. So if you want to have that movement, fine. If you're not, you don't have to go for it, okay? Sometimes you can break that rule, but definitely for fonts from an accessibility point, start thinking about it. And the link for this is in the video description. It's free. You can go and access it. Um, if you find that you don't want to keep adding in your numbers all the time, click the green tab, just change the number once, hit return, and it follows it through all the way down. Look, I'll just show you again. Look, ding, 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 ding. Okay, just bear in mind though, if you are using Elemental, leave it at 16 unless you pop this into your CSS bit. If you are using bricks or anything like that, go and hit a 10 because that is probably what it is in the theme as well. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon.
Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.